Hey guys, welcome back to week 16 for the outdoor plants. So before I start, uh, I just want to let you know, two weeks ago, I actually stopped using, well, I was supposed to use the third application of pesticide for the spider mites. But I eventually did not do it because I found out a new, less harmful or rather less um, risky concoction. So I wanted to give it a try. But when I wanted to use it, there were actually no more spider mites for almost two weeks. And then now, actually, the spider mites came back, um, but they were all babies, like really, really tiny. So basically, it's really a recent infection. So possibly, I got it from somewhere else again, as, as in from the foreign dying leaves again. So I'm just going to try and use the new um, solution. Apparently, this one really melts the webs, almost instantly kills the spider mites and all, and also make sure the eggs won't hatch basically make sure the eggs die inside also anyway it's going to be probably loud for this video because it's raining and also the roads are very busy uh, so anyway yeah i am going to use that new concoction which um, actually contains um, alcohol and two types of soap if it works well then um, i'll share with you guys what it is because i found this online from youtube actually and also, there are quite a number of um, surprising growths, really, really surprising growths. And I really cannot wait to share. So I'm going to start with the Black Ripple. So the Colocasa Black Ripple, this was what you saw last week. It expanded to this size. Look at the design on the leaf. It's getting more and more obvious. It's so beautiful. I mean, now you can see why it's called the Black Ripple. Already a new leaf out there. Baby leaves. And next is a Colocasia White Lava. This was what you guys saw last week with the weird coloration spread out as a new leaf. It expanded slightly more, bigger than the previous one, but not by much. And then moving on to the Alocasia Sarian. So last week you guys saw that there was a really, really tall one coming out from the shoot. And yeah, this was the latest one before that. So the new leaf actually, ah, look guys one spider web here yeah this is very very recent because uh like i said I've, oh, i always continue checking the leaves almost every day so yeah i mean i'm not going to be um stressed about it anymore i'm just going to tackle it as best as i can the only worry that i have is that these mites get into my house which i really don't want so anyway continuing so the tall leaf eventually upsized and got this huge look at that guys <laughs> what is this even now i actually plan to hold this leaf but now i don't want to because of the spider mites but <laughs> ah you know what i'm just gonna <laughs> look at the loops guys <laughs> what is it the loop is bigger than my hand <laughs> my, my one whole hand is smaller than the one of the loops <laughs> I'll just try to, yeah. <laughs> Honestly, I actually wanted to take this and take a picture with it with my body size, but <laughs> yeah. But now they have spider mites on them, so I don't want to be risking bringing them into my house. I mean, as in the spider mites flying onto my shirt or something. You never know. So yeah. Anyway, I I had to tie them to the window ledge because they are getting very very i mean look at look at the size of that <laughs> it's maybe from here it's getting quite ridiculous actually i mean i'm actually afraid <laughs> how much bigger it's going to get i mean it's not even in a proper media for it <laughs> but look at the size guys <laughs> So, so anyway, um, moving on to the um, Colocasia Lime Gecko. So that's the latest leaf. This was the one that was dying. There's the latest leaf and it expanded to that size. Way bigger than the previous one. So it's so nice to see that it's um, kicking back to health. Although, um, like I said, the new concoction is going to be less risky, possibly less damaging. But still, it could be, you know, uh, do something to them. Although it doesn't contain oil, so that's the great part of it. And the next one is a Caladium um, 
Lion, Caladium High Low Beauty. So this was the latest leaf you guys saw that was coming out last week. It's already expanded to this size and it's actually getting way bigger than I ever had. Amazing. But there's some, some slight damage though. I don't see any spider mites on it but yeah the damage the damages don't seem like spider mite more like burnt yeah so anyway there's a new shooting growing there this one desperately needs um, a reporting because of the media gets dry really 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 fast yeah and then moving on to the uh alocasia lautabakiana so yeah no no new change for that i'm just going to move the regal regal shield here replace it and then the next one is the uh, alocasia longiloba um the new leaf is this one as you guys can see it's, it's actually growing with a curve it's so odd but still looks cool though. It's, like, it's like a crescent yeah this was the previous leaf and there's the new leaf you guys saw last week expanding yeah already a new shoot coming out in the middle there yeah and then moving on to the Colocasia Feroz Mask. Yeah, that new leaf is growing there. I mean, why, why are you going? Why are you facing the wall? Yeah, nothing much. No new design on the leaves. And then the next one is the Colocasia Black Magic. So last week, you guys um, saw this one growing so huge. And then there was a new leaf coming out. This is actually one of the plants that um, I meant earlier on about being interesting, something interesting happening. So that new leaf actually grew to this size <laughs> look at that <laughs> that was supposed to be huge this is much bigger look at the size <laughs> comparing beside it yeah and then now my hand beside it. can you see that <laughs> i will put um a side by side comparison of um this hand beside the leaves <laughs> So giant. <laughs> the new leaf is already forming. Yeah, and the runner is already producing leaves. And then moving on to the Caladium Thai hybrid. So a new leaf coming out there. This was the latest one. It actually expanded more from last week. Well, I smell durian. <laughs> so anyway, uh, it even grew taller as well. Yeah. And moving on to the Caladium Lindenii. So this was the leaf that was growing last week. It's about the same size as the previous leaf. I don't know whether it's going to expand bigger than the previous leaf. Yeah. Next one is the black velvet. No difference. Still limping like that. And then the next one is the caladium good queen. So last week you guys saw one leaf being very very pink. Yeah, that leaf grew big. And the new leaf is even um, darker pink I would say. Yeah, although it has more green bits but Seriously, I didn't think that it would expand further. It's so beautiful. Look at the pink of this plant. So and now I really can't wait for it to grow much bigger. I hope it can grow as big as the Thai hybrid. Yeah, it'll be very beautiful to see that size with this color. And then the Alocasia sinuata. Yeah, new leaf coming out here. Uh, that was a previous one. But not much change except for this one coming out. And then the next one is the Caladium Thai. So the Caledum Thai, the older leaves are dying. This was the one that was small last week. I mean, I can understand why the leaves, the old leaves are dying. Yeah, it's actually pretty sad, but they, they had to go through all those treatment. I hope the next concoction won't do all this. I forgot what it was supposed to do other than being a pesticide. So anyway, next one is the Alocasia. Uh, the hidden alocasia behind there, which is the alocasia infernalis. So you can see there's a new leaf behind there. Yeah, that's a great thing to see now that there are two leaves. Moving on to the caladium one. So the caladium one, last week you guys saw two leaves coming out, one of them being weird at the bottom of the leaf. Yeah, apparently it's nothing to be worrying about. I mean, yeah, it's just, it looks damaged, but it's expanding. Yeah, this was the other one. Already a new one coming out. That's really fast. And moving on to the Caladium Red Berry. So last week you guys saw there was a new leaf coming from the bottom here. And then a new one coming out. Well actually last week it wasn't there. So yeah, there's a second leaf out from here. And also 
in one week the the main one already grew a new one it's almost fully expanded but you can see the coloration i'm so amazed that actually this one triggered back again and then the next one is the alocasia bisma new leaf there yeah you guys saw that it was already up tiny bit last week and then moving on to the alocasia dragon scale i yeah still no new growth for this plant it's still beautiful though and then moving on to the alocasia regina elaine um the regina elaine i don't think is um yeah oh okay nice there's oh oops oops there's already a new shoot coming up from the middle there nice and then moving on to the alocasia scalprum so yeah the scalprum apparently has spider mites as well but this is the new leaf so yeah i'm going i think i'm going to do it tonight i'm going to spray them with the new concoction tonight i already got them actually uh, i got them last week but there were no spider mites uh, for almost two weeks and then this is alocasia cupria last week you guys saw one leaf grew but then it died yeah so now there's already a new shoot behind it the, you can see the dark maroon there so glad there's a new one i thought it was hunted or something and then the alocasia mellow no new shoot yet um, yep and moving on to the alocasia silver dragon i'm sorry um i seem to be rushing because today is actually the day the electricians are here so yeah i'm trying to do this as soon as possible and also actually leave my home to go to my in-laws uh, anyway um the alocasia silver dragon so new leaf there yeah so you saw two new flowers coming out last week and i was saying hopefully that the that one on the right is going to be a leaf so thankfully it's uh, actually a leaf coming out so nice this one is so healthy and amazing and beautiful and then moving on to the alocasia dragon's breath new new shoot coming out finally yes ah yeah i mean this one is actually growing slowly so i was actually worried so anyway last week i covered this plant with the leaf because i was saying that they got accidentally exposed due to the leaf moving but then when i brought it down this one actually got lower to reach out for the sun so i feel that it wants to get hit by the sun a bit <laughs> yeah so I'm, now it's uh, actually being hit by the sun i'm not going to touch it i'm just going to leave it and then the last one is the alocasia amazonica all leaves are dying yeah i still don't see any new shoot so actually the ones that are dying are actually those imperfect leaves yeah they have some weird crinkle on them so anyway that's the end for the week 16 outdoor plants look at that guys look at how giant it's going to be i, I don't even i can, it's so hard to fit everything in the camera now being close to the plants <laughs> So yeah, I'll see you guys next for the week 17 outdoor plants video. Let's see how it grows. Bye.